Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cat Lady. Okay, so I need to do something in these two doors. Something maybe with that extremely creepy thing. Whatever the hell it is, I don't even know if I want to know, but it kind of terrifies me. And I think I need to smash myself to activate this machine. Somehow. Hmm. Alright, let's shove this in and see what happens. I feel like I need two levers to do this, but... I don't think there's another lever I can use. I wonder if I can stab her. Nope, that didn't work. I mean, she's behind me after all, so why would that even work? But then again, I am in some sort of a dream world. I wonder if this mace would work as a lever. It is wood. It might go inside of the hole. That didn't work. Yeah, let me see if I can use this. Oh, you can! Oh, God, I'm a about to smash her. Um. Wait a minute. No, but I need her blood on on the machine, right? I've seen this machine before when I first visited the Wicked World of the Dead. Back then, it was my blood that turned it on. Yeah, I think I need to move her over there before I smash her. I don't want to kill as many copies of myself as possible. I want to I want to kill as little as possible. So, let's move her on over. No, no. There we go. Remove it. And operate this. She's going to move forwards. Shove this in the hole. Move forwards again, I hope. Yeah. Take this one out. Right, this is either going to smash her, or she needs to move forwards even more. But I think this is going to smash her. Goodbye, my other self. Or not. Oh, main panel. Okay, so that's got to be... This one? I, I guess there's another smashy thing. Let's try it. Here we go. Oh. What the hell? I don't like this. And what have I just done by killing one of myself? What does that mean? Did I just kill off a part of my brain or something? <laughs> it can't be good. You know, I'm gonna save it. I do have a knife, which I have a feeling I'm gonna have to use. Because I can't take any of these levers. Not even the mace lever, so yeah. If anything pops up, I'm going to stab it. Oh. I guess not. Okay, now, what did that actually do? It must have changed something in this room. Right? Or not?
Wait a minute. Hold on, my other self. Look at my other self. The one in the hospital dressing gown. She has something in her hand, doesn't she? It doesn't look like a knife, but maybe a shard of glass? Maybe I can kill the monster with my other self. Ooh. Did I just... Fr I just... Freed my copy, didn't I? I guess you're coming with me in the elevator. It's my drugged out copy. Submerged in poison. Ew. There's a body. Is that another one of me? Uh, that didn't sound. Whoa. The pressure's a bit too much. This thing can't handle it. We're about to be crushed. Is that... you behind my back, Mitzi? Miss Ashworth, I thought... I thought you were dead. I saw that man hit you right in the head. Me? Dead? No. No, I'm a tough old girl. You can't kill me that easily. Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. Let's calm down, yeah? Okay, I can do that. What's this? Duct tape? Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard? It won't hurt to try. It's pointless. We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocoons. Stuck in a web, waiting to be eaten. But where's the spider? He's gonna play with us first, isn't he? Pull yourself together, and stop talking shit. I can't think properly. Well, at least he didn't kill her. He only killed me, and I'm <laughs> invulnerable. Okay. Uh, any ideas? So, uh, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. And you? What do you think we should do? We should kill the fucker. With what? We're tied up. Are you going to headbutt him to death? I will, if there's no other way. 
Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not gonna die here. Not like this. Hmm. I'm not sure how the lockpicks could help. That only matters when you actually have your arms free, so... Uh, maybe we can pull the pipe off the wall? It does seem to be an old place. I imagine everything isn't too securely fastened down. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall? How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. Okay. Oh, a little minigame. Alright, let's get to it. Did that actually help? I don't know. Great, that's just what we needed. A cold shower. <laughs> okay, it didn't work. <laughs> well, it kind of worked, but it just didn't help. What the hell? I can talk about flowers if I want? That Now is not the time to talk about flowers. What about the lockpicks? How about those lockpicks that you always carry with you? You know, the ones you got from your dad and used to break into this place? But we aren't locked in a room, are we? We're wrapped in duct tape in case you forgot. How is a lockpick gonna help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. You could use it to cut this tape. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. So let's forget the lockpicks and think of something else, alright? Okay. Let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape that- wait, what sharp knife? Or is that sar sarcasm? Let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape then, shall we? What? You've got a knife? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I just remembered I can't reach it. So let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? Oh, you are a nasty piece of work, Miss A. <laughs> I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. It's cruel. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. And you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? You don't really have them. Who are you to call me a liar? I can't reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Really? Yes, but clearly my word isn't enough. You know what? I'll show you when this is over. If we're not chopped into little pieces, packed in plastic shopping bags, and dumped in the trash, that is. Maybe it won't come to that. He might just throw our bodies in the river, or bury them in the woods. Maybe there won't be any shopping. Always an optimist. I wonder what Susan's thinking, though. If she doesn't actually have lockpicks, then how did she get inside of the apartment? Okay, let's talk about flowers, I guess. I used to like flowers, you know. Like everyone else. Or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week, because he knew Eric was at work, and I was in the flat, alone. So, every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? My husband. He was a taxi driver, worked every weekend, and I was still on maternity leave. Zoe... Our little daughter was only six months old at the time. Well, five months and twenty-eight days exactly. She would be eleven now. Anyway, that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away, but I really liked them, somehow. They were extraordinary, absolutely stunning, and looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized, 
I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear, as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. I'm actually going to play the memory, aren't I? Wow, we're back in time. Oh god, the background is going crazy. Look what's written on the wall. Is ringing, the phone is ringing on Friday's Friday's answer. What the hell? Let's read the note. It reads, I know one day you will say yes. If I'm going to keep them, I should definitely throw this note away, just in case Eric finds it. I know one day you'll say yes. That's pretty creepy, to be honest. Let's admire them. They're the prettiest flowers I ever got. I love them. They're absolutely beautiful. Their scent is sweet and sinister. I do, but he's pretty damn creepy and I kind of want him to go away, so... I asked you not to send me anything. I... I couldn't resist. You're all I can think of lately. It kills me that I can't see you. I would give anything. I'd better stop here. You know very well how I feel about you. Did the wall just change to say liar, liar, liar in response to what I said? I have a feeling it did. I have a family now. I'm sorry, but I can't see you again. We've managed to patch things up with Eric. And there's Zoe. We have to try and make it work. Our daughter needs both her parents. So, yeah. I can't just run away with you. Life's not a film with Julia Roberts, you know? But sometimes doing crazy things can change your life for better. Do you really want to be that woman who in ten years' time realizes that she's wasted the best time of her life living with a man that she never loved? I... Look, I love my husband. I can take care of Zoe. I told you before. I'll be a good father to her. If you want. It doesn't work like that. You don't know anything about children. I'll learn. Give up? Honestly. I could never give up on you, Susan. Come on. Don't be like that. You're breaking my heart. Honestly, I, I don't know at this point. He's a bit creepy. Sending flowers even when I told him not to. But... If she's stuck in a loveless marriage, that's not a good situation. I... I need more time to think about it all. Of course. I'm not rushing you into anything. I have time. I'll wait. Listen, I have to go. It's getting late. Wait. Yeah? When I call you again next Friday, you will answer the phone, won't you? He's, he's once again being very, very creepy. Um... being so creepy. I don't, I don't, sure. I don't really know. I kind of want him to just go away, but. Yeah, I, I will. I mean, if I'm here. But now I really have to go. Bye. I guess I should do something about these flowers. I'd really like to keep them, but I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer.
All right, let's get rid of these, this note. Or I could just take the entire thing. Where am I going to put it? Shove it in the closet. It's a wedding gift from Eric's father. I haven't really got much time to practice. But when I do, the strangest thing happens. Groups of cats come up to the balcony and stare at me. Are they trying to tell me something? Let's play it. Oh no, I can't play now. It would wake Zoe up. Oh. Eric bought this table just a few weeks ago, in a second-hand furniture shop. We haven't really got a lot of money at the moment. It'll get better when I return to work in a couple of months, I guess. Zoe's bedroom. My daughter's bedroom. It's only been two weeks since we moved her, her cot into here. We should probably get one of those baby monitors, but money's been tight recently. I can hear if she starts crying anyway. Let's go inside. Zoe? She's fast asleep now. My baby girl. She looks so cute. No, let's not talk to her. She's asleep. It's one of those cheap, cheap self-assembly units from the supermarket. Oh, I can't go to the left. Alright, um, that doesn't leave me very many options with where to put them. I guess in with Zoe? It's about the most hidden I can get. Now I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. I doubt he'll notice anyway. I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Eric must have come home early. But why? I think I'm going to save it now. Or is it actually Eric? I have a feeling it's not. You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What? what happened? What the hell's going on? Eric, just tell me what's wrong, okay? It was those bloody terrorists again, here on our doorstep. Would you believe that? So, it was a bomb? Yes, in a restaurant. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? What the fuck is wrong with Eric? Okay, I changed my mind. I want to break up with you. I want, I want the creepy guy. I'll take the creepy guy over you. I think he's less creepy than you at the moment. Jesus. Are you alright? I'm fine. Did you get hurt? No, not really. But the cab smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop. And all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. 
I hear my passenger screaming and shouting and there's blood on the rear window. And just then another car drives right into us and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7pm. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. How about you cut the fucking attitude? How about get some glasses, please? <sighs> I'm really not in the mood for your nagging, okay? I've had a really bad day. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No, I just need a drink. I can wash later. Alright, where's the rat poison? Because I'm going to kill him now. Shit. Is that, um... Are you going to get that? If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Sure, I'll pick up the phone. Hi. Hello? It's me again. I'm sorry, but I had to hear your voice again. I love you, Susan. Susan? You still there? Please. Say something. Anything. Yeah, okay, they're both pretty creepy. I want everyone to go away, please. Um. Uh, sorry, but he's not home. I'm... I'm sorry, but he's not home. I... Excuse me? He's at work, isn't he? He's not home yet, Jerry. Why don't you try again in the morning? He won't be back till late, right? Is that Jerry? I'm not here, just blow him off. Susan. I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? Um, yes. All right. Take care then. Whew. Then the arguing started. It slowly grew into something bigger, something horrible. Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued, but it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess! Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day, but it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already! You'll have to organize your day a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Right, so obviously some horrible accident's going to happen. I'm done talking to you. Of course you are. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out of arguments, you stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and over again. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? You'd know if you listened to me. 
But you never listen to me, do you? Not to a single word I've ever said! Right, here we go. It's not you, it's the alcohol speaking. I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses and you had some too! I'm not drunk! I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life and not care so much. That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full of shit, Susan! Full of shit! I, I don't really want to play into the argument, I just want to fuck off. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, alright? Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. How dare you accuse me of such things? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. All right, fuck off. Let me go. I have to check on Zoe. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. That's right. Just walk away. That's all you do, Susan. You can never finish anything. If there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? I'm sure Zoe's fine. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? I... I guess. Fine. Never mind. But wait a minute. Zoe's gone too. Eric and Zoe are both gone, so something must have happened to her. Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? Okay, doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work, he's gonna be hungry. But wait, where's his dinner? Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't make it because you were too busy changing nappies, and singing, and playing, and washing. Yeah, I think so. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. If you'd spent more time with our daughter yourself, you'd know how important these things are. So pardon me, there's no dinner for a hard-working husband. From now on, he's gonna have to cook for himself. Because, you know what? The wife is working just as hard, and she's really tired of being treated this way. She better get used to it, because this is just the start. There's going to be some changes around here. I'm fed up of being pushed around by you. I put the bread on our table, don't I? I'm the man in this family! I will make the rules, and I'll get the respect I deserve. You're going to get a knife in the face pretty soon, you piece of shit. I don't even know which option to choose. Is there a kill him now option? Unfortunately not. Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? So I'm an idiot now, am I? You're... You keep picking on me for nothing. 
No, this was coming, and you know it, Susan. If you're so unhappy with me, then what the fuck are you still doing here? Pack your bags and leave me alone. You're throwing me out. This is my fucking flat! I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it! I'm not going anywhere! How can you talk to me like this? You're treating me like dirt! Didn't you forget something? I'm your wife! I'm the mother of your child! Doesn't that mean anything to you at all? A wife and a mother? Why don't you start acting like one? When was the last time you showed me that you care about me? All you ever talk about is the baby! I love her to bits, I swear I do. But I want to have a wife too! When was the last time you even kissed me? I'm not even talking about sex! Ugh, oh, I knew it! Is that what bothers you so much? Is it? Of course it fucking bothers me! Does it not bother you that we never have time for each other? Look, we are new parents. It's always hard. All couples go through it, I heard. Well, fuck this. I heard different. I haven't done anything wrong. Of course not! Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? That's not what I said. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah? Then why are we here now, fighting? This is all messed up. You're behaving like a five-year-old? What the hell is wrong with you? You, Susan! You always knew which strings to pull. To tip me over the fucking edge! Stop it! Stop it, Susan. I've only just started. We should finally say to each other what we really think, right? We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there, by her bed. She had some rare allergy to pollen, but we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing and choking. The next time we saw her, when we found her, she, she was. After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. They found him nearly a week later. He drank himself dead in the woods. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked bad. Miss Ashworth, I... Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. What do you want from us? Are you deaf? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron. Mitzi. Leave her alone. Don't you dare. No! Take me, instead. 
Take me. You hurt my friend. I... I will... What? What's going on? You're letting me go? Just like that? Where's my friend? What have you done to her? What in the hell is going on? Is there a weapon in here, by any chance? No. Mitzi? He wants me to watch, doesn't he? Anything in here? No, damn it. I could use a weapon right about now. I think he wants me to watch, but at least she's not dead. There's actually a chance I can save her. Son of a bitch. What do you want me to do? What the f I don't understand. What? Wants me to move back? You want me to play the piano? Okay. Holy shit. I think I need to get Mitzi. It looks like she's dead. Pull her up. Let me find something to stand on first, and that damn table is too heavy. Ah, damn it. Chair. Push it. Are 
her. Get her on it. Stand still, Mitsu. I'm gonna be right back with a knife, and I'll cut you down, all right? Okay, she's still alive. My cats truly are my friends. Chapter 6 The Legend of Cat Widow going to do it, aren't we? Yes, Mitzi. You will finally get your closure. Maybe I will get mine too. Did you take that map with you? Yes. We can always refer to it if we get lost. I've lived in this building for many years. I won't get lost, Mitzi. But it'd be a good idea to cross people off. Once we're sure it's not them, it might give us a clear picture of how far we've got. Right. Okay. Good luck, Mrs. A. Mitzi. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? This recent incident, it must have been pretty tough for you. No, I'm good. Never felt better, Mrs. A. You don't have a Mitzi icon in your inventory. Okay, use Mitzi's ability to pick locks and ask for advice if you get stuck. Cool. Well, Mitzi has cancer, is pretty soon, uh, pretty close to death, and was almost murdered. And apparently she's never felt better. That is amazing. Okay, well, a lot of stuff happened, but now it's time for some detective work. Let's get to it. Shall we just start here? Who is it that's supposed to live here? That's... Oh yeah, the couple. Joe Davis lives here with his wife. I haven't seen them for a while, though. Maybe they've gone for a holiday. Ooh, maybe we can pick the lock and take a look at their life. Let's listen. I think I heard something. No, it was probably just my imagination. Let's knock. I guess they're not in. That's great. 
I never liked them much. Alright, we're gonna pick their lock then. Can you unlock this door for us? Let's see. Blimey. We don't see these very often. This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just... beyond me. Why would anyone need one of these here? They must have something to hide. Is there any other way we can get inside, then? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic drill. Or a key. Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. Well, what can I say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. That is very strange that they'd have such a high-level lock. In such a shitty apartment, too. I mean, this place is run down. Hmm. Strange. Alright, let's just start from the first floor and make our way up. Wow, there's a lot of cats down here. What is this note? From Flat One. We apologize for cluttering the hall. The removal company has been called and they will collect a sofa and the chairs soon. We're sorry for the inconvenience, but we're sure you can put up with these few items for a bit longer. Just like we'd put up with your dog for all these years. Morrison's. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Wow, oh, that sofa looks like a piece of shit. The cats seem attracted to it, but why? It's just an old sofa. The Morrisons left it here when they moved out. And there are some stitches on it, and they look fresh. Has it been mended recently? There's something inside of it, isn't there? I need something sharp. I don't suppose you have a knife, Mitzi? No, I don't think she does. Hmm. Alright, flat one. Empty. Question mark. Possibly empty. The Morrison's family used to live live here. They moved out a little while ago. Well, let's knock just in case. You never know. Mm, no. There's no one home. Good. All the better. Let's listen. Only silence. Maybe it's not even locked. It's locked. Never mind. Okay. Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? Let's see. A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. <laughs> That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. Do you mind? No, sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. That's very, very suspicious now that I think about it. Why does she not want me to see? That's really strange. I can't help but think that must mean something. Spanner. I'll take that. Don't think I'll be cutting open the couch or that, but it should come in handy. It should come in useful. Jesus, this place is even more run down than my place. At least my place doesn't have a hole in the wall with a... Is that a cat looking down? The hole must have been made quite recently. It's Joe Davis's flat up there. What is he thinking, digging holes in the floor? Right on the edge, there's some black, shiny object. I can't quite tell what it is from here, but it looks like some kind of statue. So wait, would that take me up to the super locked... room? It, it would, right? Flat number three? Yeah, okay. I don't need to pick the lock then. 
I'm sure I can't reach, but let's try. There's no way I can reach, it's too high. If that table on the right wasn't damaged so badly, I could probably stand on it. But as it's all rotten, it, I'd probably only fall and break my neck. I'll have to find another way to get that statue from up there. It's rotten through. And this is the sunny side of the building. My side is always covered in dark. Or so it seems. Clearly this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. Yeah, fair enough. This is A. What does depression feel like? Well... It feels like all I want is to die. But I have to live. That's funny. Most of the time I feel like I want to live. But I have to die. <laughs> that is ironic. It's just an ordinary electric socket. These radiators are some of the few remnants of the old days. Most have been taken off the walls. Those that are left haven't been working for years. Let's listen. I, it's like... Yeah, I wanted to examine first, actually, but... Oh, that's the dog. A grumpy old woman lives here with her ugly dog. I hate dogs. Me too. Well, I would knock, but we know what's going to happen. I guess... I, I don't know. Let's do it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Of course. I mean, we could pick the lock, but... It's probably just going to try to attack us or something. I don't know. Let's try. Let me say first, though. It could be fun. Bad idea. There's a dog inside. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, I can't see the whole text thing on the right. It's... But let's go to the third... Well, there's no point in going to the third floor. So, fourth, fourth floor. What the hell do we have here? Oh, yep, that's the electric meter thing again. That bizarre contraption. Is an electric meter for both flats. <laughs> I can turn the power off. Can you just do that? Can you just turn the power off so that anyone outside... Like, someone could just troll you and walk up to your door and turn off your power. That's absurd. Some young guy lives here. I think his name is Jesse. He makes a lot of noise, apparently. Ah, listening to music. Well, there's probably someone home then. Let's leave that for now. I suppose I could turn off the power and then listen in again. Pram. Just looking at it is painful. This is where Pauline lives. She's a young mother and, until recently, a busy... Hotelier? Whatever the hell that is. Oh, lovely. A crying baby. Cable. The, these cables are hanging loose. I don't think that's very safe. Let's see if I can just shut it off. But 
Okay, so what exactly did that accomplish? Let's pull it out too, why not? If I could pull them out, I'd cut off the electric for both flats. Unfortunately, they are too firmly attached to the meter. Hmm. I'm guessing the spanner's not going to do much. No. It's just a trip to use, don't worry. I'll just flip this switch, and we're back on. Jesse, can we talk to you for a second? Sure, sure, but not right now. I'm right in the middle of something. Okay, that was a surreal conversation. What's wrong? I... I really don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. We can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. Let's go somewhere else then. We can always come back here later. Alright. Yeah, I need something to have a conversation about. Which at the moment is nothing. Hmm. Huh. I wonder, can we go back to our place and actually go inside? Maybe we can get something sharp, some tools to use. Let's try. Oh, no we can't. Okay. Well, that simplifies things. I mean, surely I would have a kitchen knife inside of my home. Ground floor. Hello there. The dog lady. Oh, right. She lives in flat two, that stinky mongrel of hers. I can't remember her real name. I've always called her the dog lady. Needless to say, we are not the best of friends, but we usually do our best not to show it. Let's just leave her there for now. Looks heavy. I think it's meant to be a storage place for cleaning products, vases, and junk mail. Those who have lived in this house as long as me will know there's actually a door to the basement behind it. Ooh. No one goes down there anymore. It's not safe, apparently. <laughs> well, what's the worst that could happen to me? I die. There's nothing useful inside. Just piles and piles of leaflets. I could push that cabinet out of the way, but I don't really want to be seen. If only we can get rid of that old witch somehow. The dog lady does look a bit like a witch, doesn't she? Flowers! Someone put freshly picked flowers in this in the vase to brighten up this grim-looking hall. They're like a bunch of roses on a long-forgotten grave. Maybe one day you will forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Maybe. Or maybe not. Yeah, I don't see that ever happening after... <laughs> after what happened. No, I don't think I would ever want to see flowers again. Oh, what the hell? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. I'll clean it in a minute. But please, be more careful in the future, yes? You be more careful, nosy old witch. Maybe the vase was already cracked. Why else would it break as soon as I touched it? Yeah, that broke so easily. I mean, they're fairly fragile, but they're more resilient than that. Well, at least I can get a piece of glass from it. <laughs> I 
mailbox. I'm sure I have no mail. Except maybe bills. Mm -hmm. No mail. This guy's hiding here, in this house. There's no reason to go outside. Alright, well let's go use the piece of glass to cut open the sofa. Which was on the s no, the first floor. Alright, what the hell is in here and why do cats love it so much? Reach inside. What do you feel, Susan? Hey, look at this. Valerian root extract. Cats love it. It has the same effect on them as catnip. They go absolutely crazy for it. You found it inside that sofa? Yes. I wonder how it got there. Maybe the Morrisons wanted to leave a goodbye gift for that woman and her dog? Yes. Well, they would. I always thought they were reasonable people. Oh, what a shame they moved out. How is that a reasonable thing to do? That's insane. Also, I can't help but notice that that... The couch looks like it has a gaping, bloody wound now. That's really disgusting looking. Okay. Um... Cats go crazy for it. Okay, what do I do with it? Spray it all over the door of the dog? No, not here. The cats would hang around the spot for weeks. I'm not really sure what to do with it. Um... If I just spray the radiator with this extract, the cats will stay here for weeks. Perhaps I should pour it on something that I can later remove? Hmm. Such as... what? There's really nothing I could put down. I would need something to put it in or on. A spanner. Yes, Valerian extract on a spanner. That doesn't make any sense. Do you have any ideas, Mitzi? So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman and her dog. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll think more about it in just a second. I'll be right back. Now, what can I do? I have some valerian extract. Which cats are attracted to? What about... What about the hole? Can I... Can I squirt Valerian Extract up there and make the cats come to it and knock down the statue thing? That seems a little bit far-fetched. No. I mean, the fact that I said I need something to put the extract on so that I can remove it when I try to use it on the radiator pretty much tells me that I need to use it there. Alright, I have an idea, actually. Let's go to the top floor. So I need I need to talk a topic to talk to the mother about. And I presume this is her pram out here, so what if I... Maybe I can, like, loosen a bolt or something and say, like, Hey, excuse me, you know, I think that might be dangerous for your baby to be in. You better get that fixed. Is that a no? That sounded like such a good idea! Really? 
It'd be a perfect conversation starter. It looks like it might fall apart the next time you put your baby in it. That's really not the solution. I could have sworn that would be the solution. It just makes sense. Huh. Alright. He's too busy listening to music, isn't he? Yeah. Well, when he answered the door, is he deaf? And I'm pretty sure I already know I can't take the cables out with the spanner. No. Any ideas, Mitzi? So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman and her mm -hmm. dog. Alright, well I haven't spoken with her yet, so let's go do that. Let's go talk to the, the dog lady. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. This can't be sanitary for people living here. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. Yeah, the thing is, they're not, they're not actually my cats. Look, they're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth, the cat lady. We all know what you do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. He'll have to talk to them again. I hear they've run out of business recently. <laughs> then he'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. Yeah, I hear right now business is a little bit dead. Okay, are they bothering you? Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are actually. They usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. And that sofa, my god. They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. It was Morrison's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. Every time I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. Hmm. Tries to chase them away, okay. Who's William? Well, it's obviously her dog. Prince William, the piece of shit. Who's William? William is my dog, of course. He's 12 years old, you know. He shouldn't be running after cats at his age. Oh no, wouldn't want him to get tired. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't help him most of the time. What if he runs off and gets lost? I'm telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. 
Anyway, goodbye. Have a great day. I have to go now. See you later. All right, so I obviously need to use a valerian extract on something at the radiator and then open the door and then the dog will chase them off and run away. I just need something to actually put it on. And I can't push this open until she's gone. There's like one thing I need to do to start off a whole chain reaction of, of actions, but I don't know what it is. What am I missing? I'm missing like one thing. I feel like I'm just missing an item in the in the environment. Can't use it here. What am I supposed to use this spanner for? Did I seriously just accidentally knock on the door? I don't think that's going to be effective. Maybe I can just throw the spanner at the statue? and make it fall down? I don't know, let's try it. Master plan, let's see if it works. Nope, I probably already did that. And I know, there's a socket over here, but I can't do anything with it. Can I? No. Nope. I have no idea what to do. There's so little things to interact with. The solution must, must be close at hand, but what the hell is it? What am I missing? <sighs> oh, can't reach it. I mean, can I just pick lock? There's not even a lock here. Uh, can I just, like, put her on my shoulders and lift her up or something? No. So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman and her dog. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Did I miss an entire floor? <laughs> I missed an entire floor. Okay. Gee, I wonder what I was missing. <laughs> borrow. You mean steal. Come on. This is an adventure game. You don't borrow stuff in adventure games. You steal it. Because in adventure games, everything is yours. If you can take it, you can keep it. An old man lives here. I don't think it'll be long before, until he's taken into care. But right now, he still seems independent enough to do his shopping and cleaning. Sometimes I see him in the hallway. Polite guy. Always says hello and smiles. Still, something's not quite right about him. Early stages of dementia, perhaps? I think I heard someone cough. He's home, all right. All right, let's leave it there for now. Bicycle! Since Brian doesn't own a car, every day he rides his bicycle to get to work. It's not just his pride and joy, but also his only means of transportation. I bet he'd be gutted if something happened to it. Um, I... <laughs> 
Am I going to take apart his only means of transportation to achieve my goals? I think I am. That's a terrible thing to do. Terrible. It's Brian's flat. He deserves to be taught a lesson. If it wasn't for him, I would never get kidnapped by that crazy guy and his cannibal wife. Uh, okay, let's be fair here, though. I don't think Brian knew that you would be kidnapped by calling the freaking pest control, Susan. Give the guy a break. I don't think he planned that. I don't think he looked in the phone book and looked at the section of murderous pest control people and called them specifically. I can hear someone walking inside. Brian's definitely in. Alright, I have a feeling I do need to, like, take stuff from his bike, but maybe I don't, so for now, let's not. I'll come back to it if I need to. I'm hoping I can just put the extract on the rag. Let's try it. All right, there we go. Plop some of that down there. Come on, kitty cats. Come on, guys. The party moved over here. Yeah, come get some. Wait, where'd they go? Where are they? This is A. Uh, yeah. What the? Well, aren't they quick? This dog is making quite a racket. Someone should complain to the owner, don't you think? Definitely. She should put that broom down for a minute and sort a dog out. Yeah. It seems like they just teleported, which was strange. Excuse me, I have a noise complaint. Your dog is making horrible noise. Can't you do something? It's probably because your wretched cat's upset him again. Poor William. I'd better check on him. Goodbye. Are you sure the cat'll be all right? Please. These cats can easily outrun some old mutt. Yeah, good luck catching a cat. If it wants to get away, it's probably gonna get away. Ooh, I even have a broom. I'll take it. Alright, we can finally go into the apparently dangerous basement. And we can also I'm go into her place. I'm going to push this cabinet out of the way. I remember there was a door behind it. It's too heavy. I don't think that's gonna work. Are you kidding me? I'll show you how it's done. Stand back. door everyone's forgotten about. Wow. You're stronger than you look, Mrs. A. Yeah. Perhaps I am. I'm also impossible to kill. I come with many exciting features. Hmm. Okay, let's not go into it yet. I want to go into her place first. Now that her dog's gone, let's go take a look. Look, she left the door open. Hmm. Don't even have to pick it. Do you want to check her flat? I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. I'll be as quick as I can.
It's not her. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops, no telephone line. Okay, I'm not really surprised, are you? At least we can now cross her off the list. Yeah, I didn't think it was her. Okay. Well, that's two down, five to go. Let's go. Looks a bit dark. Oh. I assumed the light just wasn't on, but apparently it was just a transitionary black screen. Alright, so why was this place covered up? That's kind of creepy. Also, it looks like you would need to get down here to do maintenance because there's stuff down here. Is it even legal to just, just cover up the door? I mean, I'm assuming the water heaters and stuff like that are probably down here. Water supply for the whole building can be switched off here. There's no need to do that now, though. Huh, extension cord. Okay, so I could plug that into the wall outlet next to the hole, but... There's nothing I could actually plug into the extension cord, though, so that's useless at the moment. Coal shoot. <laughs> Coal shoot. It hasn't been used for many years. All flats have central heating these days. Yeah, that's old school. It can't be opened by hand. I'll need a crank. Uh, will spanner work? No. Will a broom work? No. Paint. It's red. The color of blood. The lid is stuck. Dried up paint is holding it firmly like a, like a glue. I'll need some tool to pry it open. I'll take the tin once I manage to open it. It's of no use to me right now. Hmm. Spanner? No. Broom? No. Quiet Haven Hotel? Never heard of it. What is a sign doing down here anyway? Was that what this place used to be called? Did it used to be a hotel? Huh. It's kind of creepy. Sewing dummy. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from Flat 6, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. You ever heard the legend of the Cat Widow? The Cat Widow? No, can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city, just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Wow, that's pretty crazy, Mrs. A. Do you really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Are you sure about that? I promise this will work, and it will give us a chance to check his computer, if he's got one. Okay, so what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. Tin of red paint? Mm-hmm. Red paint? There's a tin here. We could use that. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after all. I'll need some scissors for that. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. 
Okay, what the hell? <laughs> Am I seriously about to play like Halloween dress up to scare him away? This is... This just took a turn for the absurd. Okay, well, can I take it? Alright, white dress. Strange. This wall looks fresh. What are they hiding down here? Something's hiding down here. Could I bust it open with anything? I don't really have anything that could do that. A spanner? No. A broom? No. A white dress? No. <laughs> I, doubt I'll, I doubt I'll ever find anyone who'd want to marry me. But if I do, I won't be wearing this dress. That's for sure. Aww. Alright, I think it's time to go to the bike. I think I need to mess it up. I think I need the tools to be able to do something. Because at the moment, I can't really do much of anything. Alright, let's kick it. As much as I'd want to, the noise would only alarm him. I'm sure I can think of a better way to get back at Brian. Alright, what about the crank? How funny would it... How funny would that be if the crank went missing? He probably wouldn't even notice until the very last minute, when he's all ready to leave for work with no time to spare. Let's remove it. It can't be done by hand. Mm -hmm. Now this is actually a tool. For the spanner. There you go, you're getting some use, buddy. That'll teach you not to mess with the cat lady. Alright, so what am I going to do with the bicycle crank? But apart from that, I might actually find some use for it. Yeah, but... Oh, wait a minute, I can use that for the coal chute. But... What am I going to do with the coal chute? I don't know. Let's find out. Ooh, I'm going to be able to cover it. Yeah, there's probably going to be like blats, black, <laughs> there's going to be blat. That's the end of my sentence. Well, that's the end of the show, everyone. As soon as I start saying there's going to be blat, that's when I end the episode because I'm totally incapable of speaking. <clears throat> Let's try that again. There's going to be black soot inside of there, which I can cover the dress in, thereby rendering it a black dress. There, I've managed to finish that sentence. It's filled with coal. Dirty stuff. Let me guess, it's all black. Coal tends to be black. Although I've heard there's a very rare variety of it that's actually a... a bright, bright red. But it's very rare. People have spotted it in the wild, but every picture that comes back is just blurry. No one knows if it's real. Black is my color. I like it so much better now. Alright. Black dress. Just need a mask and need something to open this with. Which I most certainly don't have. Unless, I don't suppose your lockpicking tools can do this, Mitzi? No. Okay. <sighs> mask. I could put this thing back on. Apparently. 
Not sure why, but I could. Okay, what the, what the hell do I do now? He has a broom! No. Hmm. Well, I can of course use the extension cord on the first floor, yeah, on the outlet. But again, I don't believe I have anything to actually plug into it, but I could use it at least. Why is the bathtub in the background just Resting up against the wall. I don't understand. Actually, maybe I could just toss it up there? Nope. Alright, let's plug it in. Wait, what? I... I don't use the extension cord on the socket. Then why, why is this socket here then? I don't understand. plug anything into this. No. Hit it with a broom. No. 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 Okay. Alright. Alright, any ideas, Mitzi? So, what next? Maybe we can find some clues in the mail? There's a mailbox in the hall. Oh, yeah! It's locked, of course, but guess what you can do, Mitzi? You can pick locks. What a handy skill you have, Mitzi. Also, what an interesting name you have, Mitzi. I've actually never heard the word, the name Mitzi before. Mitzi, 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 Mitzi. Mitzi. 